Hi, this is Dr. Greg Gillum, CEO of Human Fusion, and we are in the top 10 articles according to Gallup from 2019. We are at number four. The title of this article is Take Charge of Work Stress, Starting with Your Managers. Now, 2019 was full of stress-related articles. It seems like you know, we're, we're learning more and more and more about time management and how to de-stress, and yet we're seeing more and more stress in the workplace. The, the highlights of this story um, or this article is that managers report having more stress than their teams, and they are likely then to spread that stress throughout the entire company because, again, we know that managers uh, are very, very key to, to lots of things, including engagement and things like that. All right, so in the book, It's the Manager, Chapter 31, Managers Report More Stress and Burnout, Worse Work-Life Balance, Worse Physical Well-Being Than the Individual Contributors That They Lead. And we know that managers account for 70% of the variance in team performance and engagement. And so if the managers are stressed, more than likely the team is stressed as well. In fact, there's a new book by Jeffrey Pfeiffer called Dying for a Paycheck, which looks at the fact and stresses that workplace stress is actually the leading cause of death in the world. Now, I haven't read the book, so I don't know if that's true, but I know that it certainly contributes to it. Now, what's the ideal situation? The best managers in the world develop human potential through meaningful work, and they create a performance-oriented culture for their teams while allowing the flexibility to have this work-life balance. And so the organizational perspective then is to select managers who are good at managing people, freeing them up to focus on people development, which is the foundation of a healthy workplace. Okay, so first thing to do, focus on what matters most, and that is hiring the right managers. Now, here's where normative behavioral assessment comes in. First, you wanna hire managers who love to lead other people. On the Winslow, we call that leadership, uh, pretty simple. Not the ability to lead, it's the desire to lead, and that's what you wanna look for. Second thing um, that you wanna look for is composure. How calm, cool, and collected will they be under intense pressure? So if you have someone who loves to lead people and can stay calm and cool under pressure, that's, uh, and, and wants to be a manager, then that's the recipe for success. Okay, that's the first thing. Next thing, find out if your current managers, current managers love managing people. Um, are your managers doing what they do best every day? That is one of the Q12, that is one of the engagement, um, you know, uh, metrics that we look at. And um, it might not be so because 66% of employees, now this is managers and non-managers, report that they are not doing what they do best every single day. So get at the root of this. Review your incentives to make sure that you're, in, um, you're not encouraging in, uh, uh, employees just to take a manager role because that's the only other trajectory that they have. So instead, allow growth paths that incentivizes everyone, people who want to, to move vertically, uh, certainly, but people who also may want to uh, look at horizontal movement in the organization, new certifications perhaps, or diagonally through the organization. Maybe they want to do the same thing, but in a different division. So being really creative with career paths is very, very important here. And the key to this structure is to align the growth of employees with their natural interests and abilities. Does this take time? Of course it does. And um, that, that's where, again, that's where the, the fruit of the management experience comes into play. And you've got to have the right managers in place in order to pull this off. And we'll explore this, this uh, article in a little bit more detail in the next video. If you like management-related videos like this, please subscribe to Human Fusion, where we'll keep you up to date on all the latest trends that are affecting you as a manager and your management practice.